Okay, this is it. Leaving the Bronx. Hot asses everywhere. What's up, Indian? You, you got everything? Yeah. Wipe your nose, too. Let's go, Mr. Williams. Go right on through. Oh, yeah. Right up in the bus, Mr. Williams. New York City bus. That's fine. Bus stuff right here. So how does it feel to be a group of refugees, huh? Yeah, huh? Welcome. You wanna go take a smoke? We might as well get our smoke break now. It's gonna take them an hour. We're in a New York City bus seven. 797, play that number. When you watch this show. He was supposed to be here at 10 o'clock this morning. He's just now getting here at 3.30 in the afternoon. We're leaving the Bronx. The sight of some of the hottest asses I've ever seen. Lord have mercy. But I understand why it's so fine. And so they're going poor. Life in America as a Hispanic. Gorgeous. And somehow they never get out of being poor because they never got get out of being ethnic. Assimilate into America and you change your life. That's why I ain't got no funny bunny accent. And I've been punched. This guy right here, this guy right here, you're talking about somebody getting screwed. This guy right here has been so screwed. Has no idea. He comes from India, he buys a house, the, w the wife takes the house, have him locked up in jail so he can take the house from him. He can't go see his kids because of the order of protection. And got lawyers sticking papers in front of him to sign his house off. And he don't know what the hell to do because his English ain't so good. Life in America as an effort. <laughs> I told y'all, you don't assimilate into America, you get screwed here. Bye-bye.